Hi friends, this is Miss Cat, one of the STEM educators at Boys and Girls Club, and today I want to teach y'all how to make a rainbow glass using just water and sugar. This experiment um, teaches the concepts of solubility and density. So what you're going to need for this experiment is about three or four different glasses. I'm using six because I have enough food dye for them. And then you're going to need a lot of sugar. You're going to need food dye. I use six different food dyes. I have pink, purple, red, blue, green, and yellow. And then you're going to need another bigger jar to pour all this water in. And then, yeah, you're going to need a lot of water as well. So to start off, I started off by putting the same amount of water in each of our glasses. So I've kind of filled it up halfway. And then once I made sure that they were all about the same, I started putting sugar into them. And so I'm going to start from the right hand of the screen to the left, and we're going to increase the amount of sugar that we put into each of the glasses. So I start off with one spoonful for the one the glass at the right, and then I worked my way up by adding half a spoon or a whole nother spoonful of sugar. So you can see right now, the more sugar I add, the more that's going to be building up at the bottom. And it's not until I start stirring the water with the sugar for it to start to dissolve. The ability for sugar to dissolve in water or in other liquids is called solubility. Sugar is a type of molecule, and these molecules are held together by weak intermolecular forces. And so when sugar dissolves in water, either through heat or through the, this fast motion that I'm doing with my spoon, it will break those bonds and therefore the sugar molecules will, will separate and then dissolve in the water. And you can see the sugar doesn't fully dissolve in this water because it's better when you heat it up, which is why when you're making, say, sweet tea, it's better to heat the tea and then add the sugar than just adding the sugar to your cold, unsweet tea. Heat is better at breaking those intermolecular forces than just, you know, doing this with the spoon. However, you can still see a difference in between each of my glasses depending on how much sugar is in there. So in the one on the right with only like one spoonful of sugar, there really isn't that much difference between that and regular water, so it looks pretty clear. While the one on the very far left is very cloudy and has a lot more sugar, and so it's harder to see through because it's it has a higher percentage of sugar in there. So now that we have all of our sugar waters, we are going to add our food dye. So starting with the right side of my screen, I have my pink dye, and that's going to be in the one with only about one spoonful of sugar, and then work my way from pink to red to yellow to green to blue to purple. And purple is going to be the most dense or has the most sugar inside the same amount of water that everyone has. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this experiment also shows the concept of density, meaning how much stuff is in one area. So with our glasses, our water on the right hand side is going to be a lot less dense than our water on the left hand side because it has less sugar and less stuff in the same amount of space. So now it's time to make the rainbow jar. So I'm going to take out the jar and then we are just going to slowly pour in the different waters, starting with our most dense water, which is the um, purple glass, and then work our way back up to my pink glass. After the purple water, the next less dense water is going to be our blue, but you're about to see something that goes wrong. Yeah, it's kind of mixing together. So this isn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to see the blue water sitting on top of the purple water. So let's see if I put it in slowly. Yeah, no, it's just all mixing together now. I, I'm i following the direction pretty, you know, spot on. So I don't know what's going wrong. As I continue to pour the rest of the colored waters in to make different, I guess, mixed colored uh, water, I realized that maybe I should have added more sugar or I should have heated up my water because it's not supposed to look like this at all. It's supposed to have six different layers of the colors so it looks like a rainbow and not this brown mess. So this is what you should get as your result. Mine obviously did not look like this and I, and I think you can use Instead of sugared water, you can just use other liquids that have different densities, such as oil or syrup or soap, and then you'll get the results you want. 
So you should try that and let me know how it goes. So thank you for watching and I hope your experiment turns out a lot better than mine.